The valve train is a mechanical system within an internal combustion engine that oversees the opening and closing of intake and exhaust valves. Its primary purpose is to regulate the timing of these valve operations, ensuring the intake of air-fuel mixture into the combustion chamber and the expulsion of exhaust gases. During the intake stroke, intake valves control the flow of the air-fuel mixture, while exhaust valves regulate the flow of spent exhaust gases during the exhaust stroke. Coordinating the timing of valve openings and closings is crucial for efficient combustion and optimal engine performance. Comprising various components like the camshaft, valve, valve spring, lifters, pushrod, rocker arm, and timing mechanism, the valve train works collectively to control valve operation. Starting with the camshaft, which is a rotating shaft driven by the engine's crankshaft through a timing belt, chain, or sets of gears, the lobes or cams on the camshaft have profiles designed for precise valve timing. In a four-stroke engine, the camshaft rotates at half the speed of the crankshaft, completing one revolution for every two crankshaft revolutions. Valves, typically made of metal, serve as openings for intake and exhaust passages in the cylinder head. Camshaft lobes actuate the valves, allowing the flow of gases in and out of the combustion chamber. While modern engines mostly use poppet valves, other types like sleeve valves, slide valves, and rotary valves have been employed. Poppet valves are opened by the camshaft lobe or rocker arm and closed by a valve spring. Valve springs, helical springs around valve stems, ensure proper valve seating and prevent floating during high engine speeds. Lifters, or tappets, transfer motion from camshaft lobes to valves, riding on the camshaft to actuate intake and exhaust valves. Pushrods, elongated rods, transmit upward lifter movement to rocker arms. Common in overhead valve engines, pushrods transfer motion from the lower camshaft position to valves in the cylinder head. Rocker arms, pivoting levers, convert linear pushrod motion into the necessary pivoting motion for valve opening and closing. The timing mechanism synchronizes camshaft and crankshaft rotation for precise valve timing. It typically employs timing belts, chains, or gears. Maintaining proper valve timing is crucial for engine performance, efficiency, and preventing potential damage. The valve train's operation coordinates with piston movements to achieve intake, compression, power, and exhaust strokes. Components like camshaft profiles, valve springs, lifters, pushrods, and rocker arms work together, ensuring efficient combustion and power generation. Various engines utilize different valve train designs, such as overhead valve, overhead camshaft, or dual overhead camshaft configurations. Advanced technologies like variable valve timing and variable valve lift offer enhanced control over valve operation for optimized engine performance under various conditions. An overhead valve engine, also known as a pushrod or eyehead engine, is a common internal combustion engine design offering advantages like a compact cylinder head, lighter weight, and lower production costs. These engines are known for high torque at lower RPMs, making them suitable for applications requiring low-end power. An overhead camshaft engine features the camshaft positioned within the cylinder head. Single and dual overhead camshaft engines have one or two camshafts per cylinder bank, offering a balance between performance, efficiency, and cost-effectiveness. The dual overhead camshaft design provides more precise valve control, higher RPM capabilities, and enhanced performance. Flathead, also referred to as a side valve engine or valve in block engine, denotes a type of internal combustion engine design where the combustion chamber and valves reside within the engine block, resulting in a relatively flat cylinder head. Instead of being in the cylinder head, the valves are positioned beside the piston in the cylinder. While flathead engines were extensively used in early automotive applications, 
particularly in the early to mid 20th century, they have largely been superseded by overhead valve and overhead cam designs in modern vehicles due to inherent limitations. It's noteworthy that some enthusiasts still hold an appreciation for flathead engines owing to their simplicity, vintage allure, and nostalgic charm. Additionally, certain industries, such as marine and small engine applications, continue to employ flathead designs to meet specific requirements. Known for their simplicity and low manufacturing cost, flathead engines did have limitations in terms of combustion efficiency and performance. The valve gear system in flathead engines involves a camshaft located low in the cylinder block, operating poppet valves through tappets and short push rods. The flathead design eliminates the need for additional valve train components like lengthy push rods, rocker arms, overhead valves, or overhead camshafts. In a typical flathead engine, side valves are positioned adjacent to each other on one side of the cylinder, although some flathead engines utilize the less common crossflow or T-head configuration, where exhaust gas exits on the opposite side of the cylinder from the intake valve. In a side valve engine, the combustion chamber is located to the side of the piston above the valves. The spark plug's position may vary, either above the piston or above the valves. Flathead engines might use pop-up pistons to enhance the compression ratio and optimize the combustion chamber shape to prevent knocking. However, one of the limitations of flathead engines was the valve design. The horizontally positioned intake and exhaust valves in the engine block restricted airflow into and out of the combustion chamber, resulting in less efficient combustion and reduced power output. Despite these limitations, flathead engines were widely used in their time due to their simplicity, affordability, and reliability. However, as automotive technology advanced, other engine designs with improved airflow and higher compression ratios emerged, leading to the decline in the use of flathead engines in modern vehicles. Flathead engines found applications in various automobiles, including notable models like the Ford Model T, Ford Model A, Ford Flathead V8 engine, and the Ford side valve engine. Cadillac also manufactured V16 flathead engines for their luxury cars during a specific period. The Ford Model T, introduced in 1908, utilized a four-cylinder flathead engine, playing a crucial role in popularizing these engines and making automobiles more accessible. The Ford flathead V8, introduced in 1932, was groundbreaking, featuring eight cylinders in AV configuration and becoming influential in the hot rod and custom car scene. Post-World War II, flathead designs gradually gave way to overhead valve designs offering improved performance, higher RPM capabilities, and enhanced breathing efficiency. While flathead engines are no longer common in mainstream automobiles today, they retain historical and cultural significance. Restored flathead engines are often found in vintage and classic car collections, especially in the realm of custom cars and hot rods, where enthusiasts value their iconic design and nostalgic appeal. In the early 1900s, several notable motorcycle manufacturers, including Harley-Davidson, incorporated flathead V-twin engines into their models. These engines played a pivotal role in establishing Harley-Davidson's reputation and contributed to the development of the American motorcycle industry. Another renowned American motorcycle manufacturer, Indian, also utilized flathead V-twin engines in their pre-war era motorcycles. Brands like Triumph and BSA featured flathead engines in their early models, contributing to the development of the motorcycle industry, Today, these engines are celebrated for their historical significance and are often featured in vintage motorcycle restorations and collections. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.
If you enjoyed the video, write your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button. Make sure to check out more videos on the channel. Goodbye.